Hello, Virgo. Now, do keep in mind, this is a reading for a large number of people. So if you are finding that the messages are not resonating with you, that just means they're not your messages. That's okay. Go on ahead and listen to your moon and or your rising sign as you may get messages in those. Now, Virgo, we have your current situation, your recent past. This would be the past one to two months, the future outcome, and then we have the angel's recommendations on the bottom. Now, you have... Archangel Zadkiel at the bottom it is forgiveness. This is the forgiveness card. Now, many of you are being encouraged to forgive yourself because oftentimes in life we will look at something as though we made a huge mistake or it was a waste of our time when in fact it wasn't a mistake. It was actually something that was necessary for our growth. So for a number of you, this is actually a relationship. You see there's this big heart here. You see you've got these two in the little rows of passion. So for a large number of you, this is in fact about a relationship, a relationship that has the potential to come back together. So for most of you, this relationship, you're not with the person because this is about giving it another try. So a large number of you, you are being encouraged to forgive yourself. For some of you, you're being encouraged to forgive that person. And for some of you, you're being encouraged to apologize to that person so that they can forgive you. And you also need to forgive yourself for what transpired in the relationship. And some, you get the whole whammy. It's asking them for forgiveness because you both hurt each other, you forgiving them and also forgiving yourself. So, because in this relationship, there was a lot of pain, a lot of difficulties. Your recent past, you've got this card, Surrender to Effortlessness. And at the bottom it says, stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. So God, Jesus, the angels, the divine, they are stepping in. They are trying to help with this relationship. You have been guarded against it. You have not been wanting to go in the direction of that relationship because of things that have transpired in the past. They've also been giving you a lot of signs. A number of you, you have some pre-programming or some experiences from past lives where you have come into this life and you think that everything needs to be a struggle. Which is why when you look at your life, it seems like you've had one struggle after another after another. It's like nothing comes easy. Nothing seems to have ever been effortless for you. Everything seems like it's been a battle. It's been a fight. It's been difficult. It's been a hardship. And it's not just relationships and love. Yeah, okay. It's like everything in life. You're just like, oh my gosh, everything in my life has been a freaking battle. It's just never easy. You're also being encouraged to do a little release. Um, and what we can do when we're releasing things is you can simply write a list of, here's the things I want to release. I want to release struggles. I want to release difficulty so that things in my life become effortless, so that things in my life begin to just easily come together and flow. So I no longer have difficulties. And then what you do is when you're doing a release letter, you just pray and you ask God, Jesus, angels, come and help me release this. You read it out loud, you rip it, you burn it, and you dump the ashes. Because there is a cycle, a pattern, you can call it a karmic cycle if you wish, that um, for a number of you has to be broken and released so that you can get into a cycle in life where things are easy. Because things don't need to be that difficult. They're trying to, and they just knocked on my window. They're trying, so we are on track, yes. So they are trying to get you to a path where things are effortless, where things are easy, where things are not so difficult. Now for a large number of you, they're actually trying to bring you back to a relationship. <laughs> We're not even gonna bother with those. We're on track. They're trying to bring you back to a relationship with someone. You are afraid to do that. What you have is your potential future outcome. If in fact you take the recommendations that the angel's recommending, you have the devil. And it's the diabolical rose, it's you know uncontrolled urges, sexuality, magnetism. But what they're saying, because typically <laughs> this would mean you're going into a relationship where there's just sex and sexual attraction, nothing but pain. But what they're saying is you're afraid that that's what's going to what it's going to be when in fact it will be changed if the forgiveness happens because we got concern pathway toil and labor so you are thinking about renewing this relationship you're giving it some deep consideration some deep thought about going in that direction trying again but you're like oh my gosh what if it's just a bunch of difficulties and work and challenges again and what if all we're doing is ripping each other apart and hurting each other like we've always done in the past 
because that's what you have in this relationship. And for some of you, this relationship, there's even been like addictions. It can be sexual addictions, drinking addictions, gambling addictions. But you are drawn to this person. You are drawn to them because they are a soulmate. There has been a lot of pain. The two of you have gone through a lot of difficulties together in life. Now, what the angels are recommending, you have sacred space. Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power and stillness in your sacred space is the peace you seek. The other card that you have is the Six of Pentacles. Now, they were giving me change, changing homes, moving homes. You know, things not turning as you expected. They've got a mature woman. They've got the privileged lady, two different women. They've got poverty. They've got marriage. So... For a large number of you, this is going from a relationship with one person to a relationship with another person, but the person that you're going into the relationship with, you have been committed to, you've been married to, or you've been in a committed long-term relationship with them in the past, where it has been, for a lot of you, it was really, really bad. Heated words, anger, I mean, the two of you would cut each other with your words. It was not pretty when it ended. But this other relationship that you have been with hasn't really been the right person. But for a lot of you, you have not, even when you moved in this relationship with the other person, you did it because you did not feel as though you were deserving of love. They're encouraging you to allow yourself to dream. Again, be this dreamer. Allow yourself to dream, you know, what would a dreamy relationship be like? What's the, what's the relationship that you want? And to know that you do deserve love and know that things can and will be easy. Because if we stay in a mindset of thinking everything's gonna be difficult, if I go back in the relationship with them, it's gonna be this ugly, toxic thing again, well, that's what we create. But if we forgive them, if we forgive ourselves, if we know that yes, things can be easy, if they're in fact the one that's destined for us, they will come back in and things will be easy. But all the past has to be forgiven and released. And we also, for those of you that have this um, cycle, this karmic repeated cycle of thinking things always have to be difficult and painful. If that has not been cleared and released, and they're saying that is something, if that is a cycle of yours, that would be cleared and released in the group healings that we're doing. But if that's not been healed and released, that pattern will continue. It doesn't matter who you're with, new person, going back to the old person, that cycle continues until the lessons learned and it's released. And then a new cycle can begin. A new cycle where you have the things that you want and you desire, where it is a peaceful relationship, a calm relationship, a loving relationship where you're not cutting each other up all the time and hurting each other all the time. They're also encouraging you to pay attention to the divine signs. They've been giving you a lot of design, divine signs, but they're saying that you have either been missing them or you have been intentionally tuning them out because you do not believe what they're trying to tell you. Like if they're trying to tell you, go back to this person, you're like, yeah, right. Uh-huh. I remember how that went last time. That hurt. That left a mark, mm -mm, not doing that again. I still have scars all over me from that. But they're encouraging you to pay attention to those signs. They are encouraging you to believe them. They are also encouraging you to stay strong, stay steadfast. This is in fact, for those of you that are being guided to go back to a relationship. So for some of you, you're being encouraged to stop investing in the wrong person. Now, if this is not love, it could be stop investing in the wrong situation. But for majority of you, this is in fact love. And you're being encouraged to stop investing in the wrong person and begin investing in the correct person. Because those of you that you have been investing in the wrong relationship, that relationship's had same similar patterns, lots of pain, hurt, arguments. So they're encouraging you to stop investing in that so you can invest in the right one. And the Six of Pentacles, this is a merciful man. They're encouraging you to have mercy on yourself, start to have confidence in yourself again. And for some of you, it's having confidence in yourself even for the first time. Because for some of you, you have been down on yourself. You've been beating, you just knocked on my window again, so we're on path again. So you've been beating yourselves up for your choices, your decisions, um, for not thinking that you've achieved enough in life, for not thinking that you're worthy of these things. And you are, you are worthy, you are good enough. You are deserving of these blessings, but you need to know that you are first. So they're encouraging you be merciful with yourself, be kind with yourself, invest in yourself. And they're also encouraging you to find joy, your joy and also your hope again. Because for some of you, you have lost hope because they have good things coming in. They want you to know that they have good things coming in. They just need you to know that and trust that. And they're saying, and pay attention to their signs. They're giving you a lot of signs. So prepare for some great changes and some things to come in and know that you're worthy of that Virgo because you do have a lot of blessings coming in. And for a number of you, you do have a, a partner from the past that's coming back and it is going to be different this time. It's gonna to be totally different. You've healed, they've healed it will be totally different. 
So now these final healing things that they're doing with you to help you get over these final healing hurdles, but you will get there. So hang in there. I wish you a lot of love, joy, and blessings.